All right, hey everybody, this is Ted Check, recovering reporter. Uh, it's uh, we're now at the end of, uh, of a long day. It's 11:16 p.m., so I got to get to bed soon. But I did want to check in for day two of uh, Alex Hormozzi's 100 slash 100 or 100 100 challenge. So uh, and I found the video. I was I found a clip of it yesterday, but now I found the full video. He was on a podcast. Um, and he's talking about this, uh, this axiom that I guess he created, or maybe, I don't know, I don't know where he got it from, but let's, let's listen to it. Like they're not consistent with it. Just the act of doing the same thing every day usually gets people to a hundred thousand a month, which sounds crazy to probably people listening, but most people who think that's crazy also haven't done it consistently for an extended period of time. Mm. And so I use something that I call the rule 100 which is 100 primary actions, whether that's 100 minutes of, of content creation per day, 100 reach outs per day, uh, $100 of ad spend per day. Uh, to, like you have to pick one of them, but 100 per day, and you do that for 100 days, and I promise you'll have, you'll be making six figures if you do that. So he's, he's talking about picking one thing. Uh, I guess I'm modifying it a little bit, and maybe that's gonna be to my detriment. But uh, I am creating content, like, for example, today I created two YouTube videos and I went on, I found out about this called, uh, this website called bookbrush.com, where you can create, and I did this uh, for one of my videos, I created this thumbnail. I put two pics together, two photos together, and then I, and then I created these boxes uh, to add a little bit. And then you got this guy in the middle that's, uh, oh, he's, he's not looking very happy. He's kind of, kind of looking a little sad. But anyway... So uh, I went on Book Brush and created uh, two, um, you know, customized uh, thumbnails. Um, and, uh, okay, we're not in the right place there. There we are. Back to Alex Hormozzi. Um But anyway, so, so content creation plus I was, I mean, it's all kind of geared towards the same thing, which is promoting my book. So... Um, one one of the videos had to do with arm wrestling, which is one of my th things that I enjoy. Uh, but I thought it might, you know, it might uh, do well on the channel. Uh, and then the other one had to do with the media. So uh, really, what I'm doing is I'm trying to trying to uh, improve my uh, my digital footprint. I'm trying to increase my subscriptions here on YouTube. So it's all kind of funneling towards the same thing, which is ultimately I, I want to have uh, some success with with selling my book. Um, so, so I did that, I created a couple of videos, created the, uh, um, uh, the thumbnails for them. And then tomorrow, uh, I will, uh, promote those videos on various social media platforms. Uh, the other thing that I did was, um, well, I, I, one of the things I did was I completed, uh, the application for Ingram Spark, which is the other company. So, so you've got Amazon. And Amazon is a separate entity for selling your book. And then you got Ingram Spark, which opens you up. I think I explained this before, but it opens you up to all sorts of other sellers out there like Barnes and Noble and um, Books a Million, all those things. So I finished the uh, the application for Ingram Spark. And I also uh, set about uh, recruiting more people for my launch team. So the, the launch team is, is the group of individuals uh, whose, whose email addresses I'm collecting. And then on launch day for the book, which uh, right now it looks like it's going to be early September, on launch day, I'm going to let them know. Actually, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, you know, uh, periodically keep them updated on the status of the book. Um, but uh, on launch day, I'm going to say, okay, here we go, team. Um, you know, because the part of the... Uh, the the yeah you know you can call it a uh, an agreement or a covenant or just a yeah just you know it's it's a uh, quid pro quo uh, most of them I've given them a copy of the PDF of the rough draft so it's kind of an advanced look at the book and in exchange for that they write a um, a short review quick quick and honest I'm I'm calling it quick and honest so you know if you, if you didn't like the book uh, you thought it was horrible put that in as well or if you liked it great. But just on uh, on publishing day, um, write the review on Amazon. That's that's what I'm asking. That's that's all I'm asking. So um, yeah, so that's so I'm still collecting this this group of individuals. I want to get it as as robust as I can because um, you know from all that I've heard, 
the more reviews that you have on day one of publishing your book on Amazon, the better it will be. You know, the, the, it, uh, the, the algorithm gods uh, look kindly upon you and bring you much fortune, supposedly. <laughs> We're going to test it out. We are going to test it out. But anyway, so that's day two. Dose, day do, dia dose. <laughs> My broken uh, uh, Spanish. But um, yeah, that's day two. And uh, so we'll be uh, soon on to day three. And we're going to do it for 100 days, maybe more, at least at the minimum, 100 days. So glad that you're along with me on this journey. And uh, tell me about uh, if you've done this, what, what Alex is uh, suggesting. 100 minutes for 100 days. And, and what were the, uh, the fruits of your labors? You know, what, what uh, did you find that it did uh, indeed bring you fortune? So let me know your thoughts and I'll talk to you later.